J Caddy Beast from Phoenix, Arizona, and you're watching Hot Facts with my boy Robert Reese. This news clip is brought to you guys by way of CBS, CBS News. Hot facts with Robert Reese, people. We got a good one right here. This is crazy. Mississippi over there. A lot of history when it comes to black and white. A lot of history when it comes to the Klan. A lot of history with movies putting, uh, documenting a lot of the stories and crimes that happened in Mississippi. This one is just another one. Uh, you know, we got six police officers. They are a task force uh, put together to take out hard crime in the area, but they do go abuse it. Just like in LA, we have the Rampart. Remember with Rodney King, the Rodney King riot riots, you know, they went ahead and did that. All those officers did all that stuff. We see this going on all over the place. Take a look at this, people. This is disturbing. Uh, six, okay, six white police officers, okay, do just the craziest okay to these black people to black people check this out tragic story so we and it's it's graphic we have a warning for viewers that the next story is graphic the sentencing begins today for six white former mississippi police officers who tortured two black men last year they apparently responded to a call from a neighbor who complained that two men were living with a white woman uh, the officers who called themselves the goon squad assaulted the men with stun guns sex toys and poured liquid on them they then forced them to shower together one of the officers then shot one of the victims in, a, in the mouth in a mock execution and attempted to plant evidence in an attempt to cover up the crimes. So joining us now. Right, so the statute they're being prosecuted under is uh, deprivation of rights uh, under the color of law. So the, the maximum sentence actually could be as significant as uh, the death penalty, which I wouldn't expect in this case. I think what they're realistically looking at is life in prison. Injuries they sustained in the attack. Uh, what role will that play in sentencing? So these are all factors, lad, under the federal sentencing guidelines, injuries, uh, long lasting injuries, significance of injuries, those all play a role. So I, I think that this judge, I, I mean, these crimes in modern America, are, this is shocking. Sure. It, so it's not just that. It's not just a criminal case. The county sheriff's office is now facing a $400 million civil lawsuit as a result of the attack. Um, how could this play out in court? The civil case? Yeah. Yeah, I think what you're looking at here is they're, the, the civil attorney is going to have to prove that there was this systemic issue within the sheriff's office regarding, you know, lack of supervision, poor training, poor uh, decision making in terms of hiring these folks. And I think you're going to find out that other people knew what, were go what was going on. I mean, when you're dealing with kind of this kind of behavior, these individuals have a tendency to brag about it. And I think it's going to be very interesting to see how this civil case plays out about what was going on. Yeah, we've seen cases like this before where you have this specialized group of police officers that are, you know, put in place to really deal to with, um, you know, high crime areas. And oftentimes they behave in an extrajudicial manner. Exactly right. That was crazy. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. This is going to be on the hot seat live coming up.